In this quick video, I'll highlight some of the new features that you can expect in App Builder for the 23.1 release. I have a simple App Builder application with a master view and four child views. First, I'll demonstrate the pivot grid. Let's go to the toolbox and do a search for pivot. I'll select pivot grid and drag onto my view. Currently, the pivot grid is pre-configured with a sample dataset. When you run the application, you'll see the pivot grid has all of the features and capabilities that you would expect in this Excel-like control. In the interactive UX, you can change various aggregates, change sorting, select fields, apply filters, and drag and drop headers to change the pivot's data view. You get everything that you would expect in a data analysis control like the pivot grid. If we switch back to edit mode, note the property editor on the right side of the screen. These features for data customization will ship in a future release of Pivot Grid. Next, we'll add a dashboard to our app. I'll search for Reveal to add the dashboard component to our page, which loads a sample dashboard from the Reveal demo server. I'll change from the Sales to Marketing Dashboard. Clicking the Run button shows the full dashboarding experience in App Builder. All the standard Reveal options are available. I can change the visualization type to any of the presets based on this data configuration. I can also apply any of the statistical functions like forecasting. If my data is hierarchical, Reveal will automatically drill up or down to see additional underlying data, and much, much more. With the Reveal SDK component in App Builder, you can build feature-complete, self-service BI experiences in a few clicks. Next, let's add CRUD, or Create, Read, Update and Delete to a grid. First, I'll add a data grid component and bind my grid to a data source that has put, post, and delete operations in its web API. I'll go to my data property and scroll down to my demo data set and I'll select the tasks API. Now you'll see that my tasks are bound to the grid. In order to enable CRUD operations, I'll simply go down to the interactions in the lower right and set up my data actions. The first one will be a post data action for adding a new row to the database. I'll add a second one for row edited, and I'll set my data action to a put, which will pass the edited object to the server to update the route. And finally, for row deleted, I'll select the delete web API. It's as simple as mapping your web API to data actions in the grid editor. We provide a simple point and click user interface in the editor that lets you take the grid from a read-only display to a fully editable experience based on the HTTP verbs that are in the data source you've added using the data editor. When I run the view and click the edit button on the grid, I can change some data and hit the enter key to trigger a put, post, or delete. This updates my database and completes my CRUD operation. In a few steps, you have a complete data entry experience in the grid without having to write a single line of code. Finally, let's add a category chart. I'll bring up my quick search, type in category, select the chart component, and add it to the view. I'll change to a different data set, the auto users database and the people with cars table. When this table binds to the chart, it doesn't really make any sense, so let's go ahead and modify some of the bound fields. I'll click Edit Data Fields, and I will remove Car Model and select Salary then, I'll change the ID field to Title. My goal is to show a chart that includes the average salary by title. You can easily select the X and Y axis value or labels from the editor with a simple point and click. Next, I'll check the Aggregate option. Note that by default this is showing the sum of salaries per title. Let's change this to Average, and the chart will reflect the average salary for each title. Just like that, in about four clicks, we went from an unreadable and unusable chart to a beautiful, informative data visualization. This is just a short list of what to expect when you try the latest version of App Builder. We are working hard to deliver new features and functionality every month, ensuring you have the fastest path to delivering beautiful experiences to your customers in the only low-code tool that includes production-ready code generation in the language of your choice. Get started on your free trial of App Builder today at appbuilder.dev.